Jalan. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, and share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you'd like to support the mission, support your boy, support your independent artists. I'm not trying to go to the majors. They are rubbing their artists down with baby oil, and I want that cash at dollar sign, Michael U.S., I'm going to be right here, right here, right here, Michael U.S. Once again, dollar sign Michael U.S. Share the legendary share. Very, very, very popular. A legend in the music game says that at one point, her relationship with Sonny Brono was so bad that she contemplated taking her own life. Let's jump into this thing. Let's get a little bit of drum roll action going here. This is according to the news.com. Cher admits considering S word to escape loveless Sonny Bono marriage. Well, I say Bruno. I got it in my notes. I don't know why I said Bruno. Sonny Bono. Article written by Web Desk. Cher felt so trapped in her marriage with Sonny Bono that she contemplated S word multiple times. In her memoir, Cher. The memoir part one released November 19th. The Hollywood superstar 78. Her boyfriend, like in her, she's a, <laughs> her boyfriend is a young black man. I think he's in his early 30s, late 20s, early 30s. Damn. Knock it out the frame, youngster. Knock it out the frame. Reflects on her loveless marriage with the late musician and their rise to fame as iconic entertainment duo Sonny and Cher in the 70s. During this period, she felt so controlled and isolated by Sonny that she believed ending her life was her only escape. I was dizzy with loneliness. Share accounts of the night in 1972 when despair brought her to the edge of a Las Vegas hotel balcony. I saw how easy it would be to step over the edge and simply disappear. This dark thought plagued her five or six times she had missed as Sonny's jealousy and tight grip on their finances and schedule left her feeling powerless. The Grammy winning singer didn't even have her own bank account and was instead given monthly stipends. Damn. At the time, the couple juggled a grueling workload with raising their toddler with an overworked share suggested taking a vacation. Sonny dismissed her outright. Instead, he locked them into a long term contract adding to their mountain exhaustion and caring only about how much money we've made. Defeated by his control, <clears throat> Cher writes of standing barefoot on the balcony, contemplating escape. But one night she had a revelation. I don't have to jump off. I can just leave him, leave his ass, Cher. Cher eventually divorced Sonny in 1975. Once again, what you guys if you guys want to check out the article, it's the news.com. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this rooted in music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Look, if we ever get that bad man, marriage just didn't work out. I believe in marriage, but it's up to the individual. They had to talk to God. She said she had the revelations. I'm pretty sure she talked to God because, you know, God take marriage very serious. And I'm pretty sure she took her marriage serious because she got to start over. We got to break up the family. You got the kids involved. It's just a, an entire, entire, entire mess, right? But every man, every woman have a goddamn breaking point. And I believe that once you talk with God, once you talk with yourself, once you evaluated your whole situation, that you have the right to leave. You have the right to say, mm, right there in your ass. I got to go because CCC, we're going to get one of these things called life. Shout out to life. Can we give it up for the living? Can we give it up? We are giving it up to the living, which is me and you. And we got to get the most out of this thing. If you're laying with somebody, that is the worst feeling. The most important decision you'll ever make is who you lay with. And most important than that, 
who marriage you can get out, but who you have kids with, there's no way around it. You have to deal with this mofo. So this is the most important decision you'll ever make. Whoever is laying with you, they can either make or break you. When you come home, your home is supposed to be a sanctuary of peace. It's, it's supposed to be a place where you can rejuvenate. You're supposed to be excited to go home because you work so hard to see your family, to take care of your family, especially men. When you go home and see your wife, you want to see your babies. How you, is your babies learning something? Ladies, you've been working all day too. You want to go home and see your husband and see your kids. And how does your day go? What are we planning for the weekend? It's supposed to be love in that damn household. There ain't no love in the household. I don't know how y'all rock. But for me, if ain't no love in my household, you have to go, girl. You have to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. You have to go, girl. You gotta go. You gotta get your ass up out of here. Share. She's, I mean, that's really dark because, like, if you think, if a person gets you to the point where you want to take your own damn life, it gets that bad. She, I believe she made the right decision. I believe Cher made the right decision not to stay with Mr. Bono because Mr. Bono lost his damn mind. He's a control freak. Control freak. He's like, he loved to cheat. He's just a very toxic person, as they described in the, in the article. Very toxic. Kind of like, uh, well, I don't know if it was as bad, but like Ike and Tina. So that is just, you got to have somebody with you that you're able to function with. You got to be able to function with that person. You got to be able to grow with that person. You got to be able to have a communication with that person. You got to be able to live life in a good way with that person. But that's crap. Sonny Bono and Cher, that relationship was crap. Absolute caca. But y'all flood my comments. Do y'all believe Cher made the right decision by not taking her own life and divorcing Sonny? I believe she did. Leave his ass. 250 capital G. Beauty the Music TV, I'm gone.